Welcome to the third tutorial in our Photoshop series. Before we move on to other topics, let's talk about some of the file types and modes that you will be using to save various files that Photoshop can do. Photoshop can save many different file types and each one can have a different use in other projects. The default file type that Photoshop wants to use is a PSD file. If you see here, I have saved my previous file that I had open into a PSD file after we have selected parts of it. A Photoshop data file will allow you to have layers which are editable and a lot easier to manage. Moving on from there, we can see that the document that I have open next is a JPEG file. What happened to the checkerboard background? That was the transparency of my previous image which a JPEG does not support. What if we want to have an image that's not a PSD, not a JPEG, but supports transparency? The file format that can do that is called a PNG. A PNG image allows the transparent data from the PSD to be saved and used so you can have interesting images and projects that look professional instead of blocky white backgrounds. Next, there's a file format that you might come across that Photoshop can use. It's called the PDF. A PDF, or Portable Document Format, is usually used on readers like Acrobat Reader. With Photoshop, you can open it, however, it will ask you to import the file instead of just reading it normally. The import window here is kind of similar as a new document file. Hero will change the resolution so that the image that we have will show up smaller than before, as I need to use it for other projects that require a smaller image. These are just a few of the image file formats you will use in Photoshop, and of course, you can save any of these formats into another format if you need to, which will allow you to fulfill many different needs for your future projects.